It's 2012. 10,000 years since we started domesticating plants. 3,000 years since the invention of the plow. And 70 years since the beginning of industrial agriculture with its intensive use of chemicals, fossil fuels, and irrigation. And today, agriculture does more damage to the environment than any other human activity. Out of everything we mine, manufacture, and throw away, it's the way that we grow things that is the greatest threat to our environment. Through the loss of biodiversity, soil erosion, greenhouse gas emissions, and pollution. This is the face of modern farming. We have to change that. The question is, how? Permaculture is a fast-growing international movement with projects on every inhabited continent. The idea behind it is that if we thoughtfully design our farms to fit the landscape and use biological resources in place of industrial technology, then we can grow our food in ways that build ecosystems instead of depleting them. Imagine a world in which farms all create wildlife habitat, build soil, sequester greenhouse gases, and clean the air and water. It's a beautiful vision. but. Does it work? The US is an agricultural powerhouse, so farming practices applied here have a global impact. So here in the U.S. would be a good place to look to start answering these questions. But are there enough permaculture farms in the U.S. to learn something significant? Then I conducted an international survey of permaculturists, the first of its kind, that received over 900 responses from over 40 countries. And I saw that 10% of U.S. respondents were reporting farming as a significant source of income. This was much more than expected. So I went looking for U.S. permaculture farms, and I found them. Over 150 so far, and the list is growing. This is a big deal, and a great opportunity. It's time to see what's happening on the ground. With your help, I will visit 50 of these farms in the coming year. I'll use balanced research methods to address sustainability, profitability, and quality of life, and incorporate the farmer's goals and perspective. The centerpiece of these methods is something called participatory functional mapping, which will reveal complexities in farming systems that conventional agronomic methods just can't. By visiting this large number of farms, I'll be able to see what factors are really driving the success and failure of different practices and business models. 